Along the river during the Qingming Festival is one of the most famous paintings in Chinese history. It portrays the bustling scenes and beautiful natural scenery of Bianyang, the capital of the Song Dynasty. Since its creation, the painting has inspired many imitations, including one by Chou Ying, painter of the Ming Dynasty. During the Qing Dynasty, the palace commissioned five painters to create an extended version known as the Qing Yuan version. In this version, over 4,000 figures are depicted in the city with diverse poses, expression, and clothing. The common people in the painting seems came to life, adding to its realistic and vibrant qualities. The painting is divided into four main areas and centers around a rainbow bridge. The scene progresses from right to left, passing through the countryside, the rainbow bridge, city gate, and urban area. The activities in the countryside are depicted first, with adults and children flying kites on the mountain. The kites resemble swallows and butterflies, similar as the kites today. As the scene progresses, the painting shows a roadside beach where three people are enjoying drinks and conversation in the shade of a pavilion under a tree. The scene captures the leisurely and peaceful lifestyle of the locals. Along the roadside, a water device can be seen, which provides the resident with well water. The painting not only captures the lively activities of the people, but also showcases the cultural and technological achievement of the dynasty. As we continue walking forward, we come across a stage where a famous play, the story of Lü Bu and Diao Chan, is being performed. The stage is supported by many thick pillars. Two red flags with blue edges are flying above. A crowd of people is gathered around the stage, some standing on the benches and others holding umbrellas to shield themselves from the sun. Nearby, a street vendor is taking a break to watch the play. A group of three adults and a child are carrying a bench, presumably going to watch the play. It was very lively. On the Bian River, there are many sheep, including a cargo sheep with three compartments for goods. A man's head is poking out of the front compartment, likely the owner of the goods. A woman is hanging clothes in the middle department, and there is a shirt on the back compartment where a person is lying down with tea utensil beside him. A boat next to it is preparing to dock, with many people waiting on the shore to board. Around the Rainbow Bridge, Three large boats are docked, one of which is loading goods. Workers are pouring rice into the cargo hold, while others are resting and drinking tea. The boat next to it is unloading goods, with workers carrying them to the shore. As the boats near the Rainbow Bridge are carrying a lot of cargo, workers have to guide them carefully through the bridge to dock. They use poles to steer the boats, while more than 10 people on the shore pull and guide them. To alert people on the shore and prevent collisions between the boat and the bridge, someone is banging a gong on the boat. This single arch stone bridge, bustling with crowds of people, has a variety of shops lining both sides of the bridge. They sell candies, snacks, stationery, ginseng, clothes, and more. Underneath the bridge, there are also vendors selling fish, vegetables, and groceries. In ancient times, many people enjoy fortune-telling, and the bridge is dotted with fortune-telling shops and roadside stores. On the other side of the bridge, we come across a circus performance, and the crowd is delighted by the sight of monkeys. Some people are even standing on cows, cheering and clapping. The military camp is up ahead, with soldiers riding horses and carrying bows and arrows. Below the military camp, there are people pushing carts with wheels to save energy. But the wheels don't have shock absorbers, making the ride of rocky roads quite bumpy. Therefore, many wealthy people still prefer to ride on sedan chairs, which are more comfortable. There is a high-end restaurant with two poles on the archway, each with two circular objects. These objects were called curtain. The more curtain there are, the more dishes they can make. Hanging four curtains means that they can make a wide variety of dishes. As indicated by the banner below that says they can handle banquets from both north and south. It also indicates that it is a high-end restaurant. The customers all arrive in expensive transportation. On the left, there are two horses, and the owner is drinking wine by the window. 
The restaurant owner is seeing off guests at the door, and there is a carriage parked outside, likely belonging to the guest. The street in front of the city gate has a wholesale rice store. Behind the store is a ship crossing. Workers are carrying rice from the ship into the store. The wholesale store then distributes the rice to the shop inside the city or even further away. Up ahead is the city gate and city wall. The gate is tightly closed. The first building inside the city, which used to be a tax office, had been converted into a defense institution. There are four soldiers guarding the gate, and there are signs saying guarding the city and investigating spies erected in front, showing the importance of military defense. The area is home to several wealthy families. In this lavish mansion, women are chatting and playing on swings, while the male owner is resting in the attic. The Zhongyuan mansion is particularly impressive, with an imperial plaque adorning its archway. In ancient times, passing the imperial examination was the only way to enter the government. The prominent Zhongyuan mansion in the picture was the residence of a top-ranking official who achieved the highest score in the examination. His fame spread throughout the country. People came from all directions to visit and offer congratulations. The bustling streets are lined with an array of restaurants and food stores. Some vendors sell their food by calling out as they pass through the street, while others set up stores by the roadside, such as the lamb store. As we walk further, there is a bar where a person is drunk and vomiting at the door. The city is also a hub of commerce, with shops selling a variety of items, including antiques, calligraphy, shoes, and incense. It also had a fabric store selling high-quality fabrics, a dyeing workshop where workers are hanging the dyed fabric out to dry, ready-to-wear clothing store where clothes are made using hand-operated looms. These shops reflect the skill and craftsmanship of the locals. Moreover, various Chinese clinics and medicine stores are located in the city, reflecting the importance of traditional Chinese medicine. Among the professional doctors, there were both court physicians and private doctors. Next to a small shop on the street, there is a sign specializing in bone setting. Near the door of a small courtyard on a quiet street, there is a clinic with a sign Zhu You, the name of an ancient method of praying for healing. It also has a children's clinic that specializes in treating children, and it says the poor can receive free medical treatment. Besides clinic, here is a pharmacy with a sign in front of that say, This hall is legally prescribed medication for treating specific symptoms. It shows that the government has regulations on the ingredient and preparation method of Chinese medicine to ensure the quality. Two people are standing outside the counter inside the store, and there is a car parked in front. One person is carrying something from the car, possibly newly arrived medical materials. This store has a banner saying Ginseng, authentic herbal medicine from Kuidui Changguangdi, which indicates the pharmacy also engaged in the transfer and exchange of medicine herb between the north and south. The medical activities reflect in the painting demonstrate the medical industry was quite developed. The specialization of medical discipline also gradually became more refined. Overall, the painting beautifully portrays a vivid picture of the daily life of people from all walks of life, their activities, and various architectural landmarks of the city. It is rightfully considered as a masterpiece of Chinese art.